Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is of me range testing the Flysky FS IA68 receiver, this one. Now when I went to my 500 meter mark, there was no problem. The receiver connected, the red light, LED light stayed on and I was getting telemetry back to the radio. When I moved on to the 585 meter test where there are buildings and trees in the way, there was a problem. It did connect, it showed me that it connected, there was no flashing red LED, it stayed solid. But when I got back to the studio and looked at the logging data from my radio, uh, there was no completely no RSSI uh, details, no telemetry coming back to the radio. When I moved on to the 1000 meter distance, again, it connected, there was no problem, it wasn't flickering, it didn't disconnect and everything uh, was uh, showing that it was still connected. Then I moved on to my final test, which is the 2000 meter one. And again, it connected, I plugged in, it connected and it stayed connected. And just what I normally do is at that distance, I, I lower the receiver to the ground and it still stayed connected. It only disconnected when I walked to my Land Rover and the, my Land Rover was between the um, radio and the receiver and then it fell safe. Now let's move on to the penetration test. Now let's do part one of the penetration test of the Flysky IA6B. Okay, I've reset my really measurer. And let's go. Telemetry lost, telemetry recovered. Okay, telemetry was lost at five seven. Telemetry was lost, telemetry was lost at 57.7 meters. And that says 40 dB. But I didn't get any RSSI warnings. Let me carry on. That's interesting. I now got the um, RSSI warning Telemetry lost. at 75.5. So this first. RSSI critical. Telemetry recovered. Okay, so I got an RSSI critical at 75.5. I didn't get a low. RSSI critical. Okay, that's interesting. Now we're going to do part two of the penetration test of the Flysky FS i86B where we're looking for a uh, fail safe for all the LED going, turning off or flashing. So I've reset my wheelie tool and let's go. Again a nice bright LED so you can see it easily. Okay. Okay, the first fail safe was at 92.6 meters and it's yeah, I'd say that's continuous too. Yeah. Let's just back up a bit. See if we get connection. Yep, it's no, that's still. Okay, that's still for safety. Okay, that stayed connected at 
So I'm just going to go and normally give it one chance to see it. Okay. Yeah, that's 88.8 .8 meters. So it's continuous, continuous fell safe at 88.8 .8 meters. As you can see from the video, when I did the RSSI checks on the radio, the radio didn't give a low RSSI reading. It went straight to critical RSSI and then no telemetry. There was no in between. It just went straight to there and that was it. Then when I moved on to taking the receiver with me and looking for a fail safe on the LED, again, it did the same. There was, there was consistency with it. it. I moved and it stopped. I got to a position and it stopped and then it went straight into continuous fail safe. So it fell safe and then it, it continually fell safe. Now let's take a look at the data. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And please share this video with your friends. And if there are any manufacturers out there who would like me to put their receivers through this test, please contact me so that you can send them to me so that I can test them. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>